Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.15.1. We're going to be going over every single step of just getting just enough items from downloading it to installing it to setting it up for Minecraft 1.15.1. It's all going to be covered in this video. I'm even going to show it off in game and show you some of the awesome features that just enough item has whenever we get into you know, the game and get everything installed. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into it. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So, again, if you were looking for a great place for you and your friends to have fun, enjoy Minecraft together, go check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. We want to find this link right here in the description down below. It's the second link in the description down below. And this is actually our text tutorial on how to download and install just enough items. We have this because some people say I go too fast in videos. So you can come here and go through this at your own pace. It goes through it all slower, all at your own pace and gets it all set up and running for you. However, if you don't want to do that, you want to go with the video. That's why you're watching the video after all. Just scroll up and click on the uh, yellow download button. So when you're here, Click on that yellow download just enough items button. That will take you off to just enough items official download page here. And then all we need to do to get the 1.15.1 version is come over here to the right hand sidebar. Scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.15. Right there it is. And then under that you'll see JEI, just enough items, 1.15.1. See that? Click that purple download button to the right of that. And then it will go ahead and the download will begin in a few seconds. Once this download has begun, we will need to keep the file. So as you can see, downloading now. But in the bottom left down here, we need to keep the file. It is safe to keep as long as it has JEI in the title. Ours does, JEI. So we're going to go ahead and click keep there and keep the file. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen and ask you if you want to save the file. You do want to save it as long as it has JEI in the title. And we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download and get Forge. So what we need to do is go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our Forge tutorial, but I'm already going over getting Forge in this video. What you want to do is click on the green download Forge button there. That's going to take you off to Forge's official website. Now, we want to make sure that we're downloading the 1.15.1 version of Forge. And as we can see, this says MC 1.14.4. Oh no! What do we do? Don't freak out about it. It's all right. All we need to do is click on the 1.15 section over here on the left-hand side of the screen, and then click on 1.15.1. Then magically, MC 1.15.1 appears here, and as long as it does, we're going to go ahead and click on the Installer button under Download Latest there. So go ahead and click on Installer under Download Latest, and then it takes us off to add Focus. Wait! Don't click anything on your page! Stop! Stop! Don't click anything! Stop! What are you doing? Don't click anything! No! Your download is not ready! It's lying to you. Stop it. Stop. All you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right. Yeah, just that red skip button in the top right. And then your download of Forge will begin in the bottom left almost on Google Chrome. And in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, make sure that this file does have Forge in the title. Ours does have Forge in the title. And it does end in .jar. So we're going to keep the file on Google Chrome and on Mozilla Firefox. Again, as long as it has Forge in the title and ends in .jar, we're good to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. Now what we want to do is go ahead and minimize our browser and on our desktop here we have Forge and we also have just enough items. Now these are on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be in your downloads folder. How do you find that? Well, click the little icon for me, it's in the top left of my screen. For you it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. We click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then when you click on that go ahead and type in downloads. You then have this downloads file folder in Windows, click on that and then in here you'll find Forge and you will find just enough items. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get to these installed. First off, we want to start off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Or what if you do and you click OK and it just doesn't work? Well, no worries, we have a solution for you. You can go to the description down below and go through our tutorial on how to get Java, specifically how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, mods, etc. This makes sure you get the correct version of Java for Minecraft mods. If you go through this link, it's always up to date. We keep this article up to date. That if you go through that link, you'll get the best version for Minecraft mods. And uh, here's our little quick tutorial on how to install it. Now, if you go through this and it still doesn't work, you make sure that you've gotten the correct version of Java and everything like that. You go through this tutorial, still not working, no worries, we have a solution. That solution is the jar fix. Come here, download, run the jar fix. And basically what that's gonna do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again. Once you've done that, finally, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and install Forge. To do that, just click on Install Client and click OK. Yep, it's that quick, that easy. That's all you need to do once you get in the Forge launcher to get Forge installed. 
It's gonna take it a second to get it all set up and then boom, successfully installed Client Profile for Forge. Awesome, we wanna go ahead and click OK there. And now we need to install just enough items. To do that, we wanna go ahead and open up Minecraft, right? So we're just gonna open up Minecraft here. And then we wanna click on this Installations tab up here at the top. And in here you should have a Forge profile right like this. If you do, go ahead and click Play. But what if you don't? Well, what you want to do is click on the plus new button here, and then you want to go ahead and name this. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. It's a network Minecraft server with two incredible survival servers on it. We have Medieval Survival with over 30 quests. It is grief protected, and it has an awesome player-based economy. And then we do have Aquatic Survival, also grief protected, with an awesome slash shop-based economy. And then last but not least, we do have Custom Skyblock with custom islands, starter islands that are custom, upgradable islands that are custom, OP enchants, 1.8 PVP, it's absolutely awesome. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Once you've got your installation named, you wanna go ahead and click on the versions drop down here. And then in here, you will have release 1.15.1-forge. See, right there it is. Now you might have to scroll down a little bit to find it, but right there it is for me, right there at the top, release 1.15.1-forge. Click on that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change my resolution, just so you guys will be able to see once we get in game. And then go ahead and go click Create in the bottom right. Now, down at the bottom, we have the play.breakdowncraft.com profile, and it is, as you can see, for 1.15.1-forge. Go ahead and click Play on that, and now it's gonna open up Forge, and we can get just enough items installed. So, it's going to go through the Forge early mo loading process first, basically kind of initializing things, getting things ready to go, and then it's going to open up Minecraft, and we'll have the mods tab and have everything that we need to install just enough items. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of move these to where you all can see them. But there we go, we are now opening up Minecraft. And then once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we have this mods button right here. See that, that mods button right there? Click on the mods button. And then in the bottom left, you have the open mods folder button. Click on that. And what's that gonna do? Open your mods folder, of course. So here is our mods folder right here. Now what we wanna do is take just enough items, JEI 1.15.1, and drag that from our desktop into the mods folder. Now, it won't appear back here, right? It's not there. No worries, just close out of Minecraft. Open up the Minecraft launcher again, right? Open up the Minecraft launcher. And then here we will have, as you can see, this profile already selected. So we can see 1.15.1 forge there and then click play. And now just enough items is downloaded and installed. It really is that quick, that easy, and that fun to set up. I mean, now you have just enough items. You can play with it on servers. You can do all sorts of stuff with just enough items because it is very versatile. It doesn't really add anything to the game. It just takes what's already in Minecraft and kind of improves on it. and all that stuff and makes all that work. So if we click back here to Minecraft, we will see that it is in fact opening up. And then if we click on the mods tab, we have just enough items, right there it is. And then last but not least, if we join into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, we will be able to see that just enough items is in fact active. So pretty cool stuff there. So once we join in here, we are in our medieval survival server actually, just in a random player area. But if we hit E, here is all of the just enough items things in here. Everything that is added to the game is right there. Let me go to spawn really quick here. And here's our medieval survival spawn. Pretty awesome, pretty beautiful if you ask me. But nevertheless, what we, we are focused on is here. So let's say we wanted to just craft a crafting table, right? So we can go ahead and select that, click on it. And as you can see, we do have all of these different crafting recipes. Let's say we wanted to craft a ender chest. Right there, there's that. Eye of Ender, you can click on the Eye of Ender, see how you craft that. How do you get a blaze spawner? You can get it from a blaze rod. How do you get a blaze rod? Well, you have to kill a blaze to get that, so that's why you can't click on it. Same thing for Eye of Ender. As you can see, Ender Pearl, can't get an Ender Pearl, have to kill an Enderman for that. But uh, let's even see Block of Iron. How do you get that? How do you get iron? How do you get iron ingots? You know, you can go through all of that stuff. It's uh, every single thing in Minecraft is uh, in here with a crafting recipe, right? You can even click on like potions and it will tell you the different things you need to do in a brewing stand to be able to brew the potions, right? So pretty cool stuff there. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We are more than happy to help you out in any way, shape, or form. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy just enough items and come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. This is our incredible medieval survival server. As I said, we have over 30 custom quests on this server. So if we run over here, for example, there's a quest there. See that? Boom. Quest at the beginning of time. There's quests there. There's quests all through the castle. There's quests in other realms. We have, for example, our marketplace here. All these are player shops, by the way. Pretty cool, right? Player-based economy. But if you come in here, we have different NPCs all around this area. 
all with different quests and things. Seamstress Caroline, for example. We have the blacksmith over here. He's got himself a quest. Look at that. All of that awesome stuff. And then we have we have other realms too. We aren't done. Like look at this. Boom. We've got another realm. Baldrock. They are everywhere. It is absolutely awesome. And then on top of that, we do have our aquatic survival server, which has a slash shop based economy. And then as well as a very active community. Redstone's more allowed over there and lenient than it is on medieval. And then we also do have a skyblock with custom islands and things like that, and just OP enchants and awesome community, tons of automated, it's great. So go play with this, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you on Skyblock, Medieval Survival, or Aquatic Survival. Anyway, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.